babes my name is chastity and my name's hannah welcome back to bookish babes obviously we've been gone for a while because this year has been a complete shit show <laughs> but we finally got together and we're going to be telling you guys all about all the books that we read this year yeah so. quarantine and then some so yeah and then some <laughs> <laughs> so uh let's get right into it our 2020 reads Okay, so how we're going to do this is I'm first going to run through all the books that I read and my rating and then she's going to do the same thing and we both just have a few that we want to go ahead and highlight just so this video isn't too long. So the first book I read this year was I listened to the audiobook of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone for the first time, obviously five stars. The Chase by L. Kennedy, which I gave a four star rating. The Day He Came Back by Penelope Ward, which I also gave a four star rating. 44 chapters about four men which was a five star rating. Sorry, I have gum in my mouth, so if I'm slurring, that's why. It doesn't sound like it. Um, Suit by B.B. Easton. Um, I also gave that one a five star rating. On the Way to You by Candy Steiner, I gave a three star rating. Come Back for Me by Corinne Michaels, I also gave a three star rating. The Truth About Heartbreak by B. Celeste, I gave a four star rating. Dark Lover by J.R. Ward, I gave a one star just because I couldn't give zero stars. Um, Buried to You by Sylvia Day. I haven't rated. I have very mixed, um, thoughts on it, but I guess if I had to give it a rating, it'd be like two stars. Okay. Before We Were Strangers by Renee Carlino, I gave four and a half stars. Dirty Letters by V. Keeland. I actually DNF'd, so I don't have a rating for it. In Five Years, yeah. <laughs> In Five Years by Rebecca, Rebecca Surly, I think. I gave five stars. And, um, God Shaped Hole by Tiffany DeBartlo, I gave three stars. Now, the ones that I kind of want to highlight, obviously the first one is my first five-star rating of this year, which was 44 Chapters About Four Men, which was by B.B. Easton. Now, B.B. Easton is an author I've been following on Instagram for months, and I've, I kept wanting to pick up her book because I really liked her as a person, and I finally did it, and I'm so glad that I did. Um, basically, what it is, is it's, it's her point of view as like a married adult who's kind of like bored in her life so she starts writing about her past and then she finds out that her husband is reading it and it's kind of like making him try a little harder in their relationship so she creates like this fake journal that because she knows he's reading okay to kind of almost manipulate him into being a better husband <laughs> but it's it's not as bad as it sounds i really loved it and i loved she's so funny her as the narrator was hilarious. She is like, you know, at this point in her life, she's a married mom of two, but she used to be kind of like a, she used to be a wild child. Like she was, she slept around with band members and she had pink hair and all these piercings and she used to Fun party things. all the time. Yeah. And it's really cool. And one of my favorite parts about the book was her best friend that she talks to a lot. Um, so I really, really liked it. And then she wrote separate books for each of the four men. The first one being Suit, which is, or the run that I read was Suit, which is about her husband, Ken. And I really, really liked them. So I gave 44 chapters about my four stars. And so that's the first one that I wanted to talk about. The second one that I wanted to talk about was Dark Lover by J.R. Ward. I had really high hopes for this. I love a vampire book. And I just didn't like it. I didn't like the dynamic between, it was very like insta-lovey. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm, I started they meet it. And they're soulmates, and like that's it. And there's no further explanation. Yeah, I actually still haven't finished it. No, I started and he's it last year. Incredibly controlling, and she just kind of takes it. And I think she's supposed to be like a sassy character, but she's not. Okay. I just, it was not. Um, not for you. No, it was really not for me. Okay, the next one I want to talk about is another good one, Before We Were Strangers by Renee Carlino. Now, if you've watched any of our videos before, you guys know that there's a Renee Carlino book that I was obsessed with. Like, Swear on This Life. Oh, yeah. Swear on This Life it. by Renee Carlino was like an all-time favorite of mine, and I've wanted to read more of hers, but I, I just knew that I wasn't going to love any of her books the way that I loved that one. Yeah. And I was right, like I didn't love this one as much, but it was still a four and a half star read. It's sort of a second chance romance about two people who met in college and then they kind of lost touch because she went to grad school and he took a job um, being a photographer for a magazine and he traveled forever. And then they completely lose contact and then 
one day he sees her basically the first chapter is him now as an adult seeing her on a train as it's literally going away and then it flashes back and it tells their whole backstory okay. up until now okay. yeah it's and it's really really cool and I don't want to say anything else about it because I don't want to spoil it but I really loved it um the next one is another really high read for me. It was five stars, and it was in five years, and it's one that I told you you mm -hmm. need to read. Um, I just finished this last night, and it was so not what I expected. It kind of gave me F Love vibes, like from by Taryn Fisher, but the story played out in a way that I was so not expecting. It's really all I can say about it without spoiling it, because there's just so many twists that that story takes, and it really... I, a story has not made me tear up like that in a long time, so I really liked it. But the last one I'm going to talk about was not so good, and it was Dirty Letters by V. Keeland and Penelope Ward. I really high hopes for this book, and the first couple of chapters were really good, and I was really invested. And then I kind of just... It was just one of those books where you didn't buy their connection. You know what I mean? Do you ever read books like yeah. that? Where you just feel like they... It's forced. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where their connection isn't authentic. And I just... I I, I didn't want to read about them no, anymore. No, and there's no way to connect to the characters no. if you feel like that. No. So, those are just the five books that I wanted to highlight. Okay. I've got quite a bit more, so I may actually cut <laughs> some of mine out. Yeah. Um, and link them still. <laughs> Uh, first off, I started with Queen's Shadow by E.K. Johnson. Johnston? I don't know. Um, I gave that one three stars. Then I read Finding Perfect by Colleen Hoover, which was a five star read for me. I Have Sold a Beautiful Lie by J.R. Rogue. I gave that one five stars. Uh, Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. I gave that one four. Someone We Know by Sherry Lepina. I'm not sure how to say her name. Hmm. Um, but four stars for that one. The Tattooist of Auschwitz by Heather Morris, which I give five stars. And When She Was Good by Laura Lippman, five stars. We Came Here to Forget by Andrea Dunlop. Uh, that one was five stars for me. I really, you really liked that. You finally read The Ghost Rider? I did. I finally read The Ghost Rider by Alessandra Torre, and that was definitely a five star. It's it was one very, of my very good. Yeah. Uh, Dark Dead Stars by Cassie Sharp, which is five stars. I finished out the Rosemary Beach series. Uh, the Best Goodbye by Abby Glines was a five star for me. Actually, one of the better ones in the series, I thought. Mm -hmm. Up in Flames was a three star. I mean. Is that the one about Nan? Yes. Ugh. Stain by Mindy Hayes was a five star. Loved that one. The Authenticity Project by Claire Poole was a five star for me. Dear Edward by Anne Napolitano. Two star. I was not a fan. Um, a Fighting Chance by Cat Savage. Five star. That was probably my favorite one of the year so far. Bloom by Victoria Ellis, which was a five star for me. The Other People by CJ Tudor, which is a four star. Uh, Insolent by Cynthia A. Rodriguez, five. Educated by Tara Westover, four. The Consequences of Loving Me was a five. Loved that one. Uh, you Are Not Alone by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. Sure. Five stars. Uh, Blind Melody by J.R. Rogue. Five stars. The Art of Aching, Volume 1 by Cat Savage. Five stars. Uh, let's see. Throws by Cat Savage, which was five stars. American Dirt by Janine Cummings. Five stars. I gave a lot of five stars this year. Really? American Dirt was controversial. It was very controversial. Mm -hmm. However, I loved it. Uh, when the Saint Falls by A.D. McCammon. I love that book. Five stars. And then um, Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J. Mass. <sighs> Five stars. That one, I don't even have that on my list to discuss that one, but I'm just going to tell you, like, it finished the series and I ripped my freaking heart out. Like, I bawled. I loved it, but I bawled ridiculously. So the ones that I do want to talk about um, are When She Was Good by Lori Lippman. That one was five stars for me. It was so, so good. It was actually about, like, a, a modern-day madame. Yeah. And, like, it, she had this whole, like, business set up, and it was just... I, I can't even get into it. It was just fantastic. Check it out. Um, like I said, A Fighting Chance by Cat Savage. Five stars. My favorite read of the year so far. 
uh, Gentry. I've got it on my list. The character Gentry. <laughs> so wonderful. So wonderful. And the letters that he writes in that book are just so beautiful mm -hmm. that I'm just, I was in love with the entire thing. Um, ones that I did not care for um, was Dear Edward. I give it two stars. There's a specific feeling I have about this one, and I definitely feel like I'm in the minority on on this one. A lot of people love this book, but I felt like it went nowhere. Like, the hmm. Edward himself, I just didn't feel like he was a relatable character or that he was growing, because, you know, he was the only one left after this big plane crash. If it's not Edward Cullen, we don't want it. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> like, it just didn't... It, just he was just kind of, you know, just a log bumping along in the story, <laughs> and I just didn't, I didn't feel it. Mm -hmm. So, um, the other one that I do want to talk about, Dark Dead Stars by Cassie Sharp. It was a psychological thriller. I've talked about her before on the channel. I'm telling you, you should go check out her books. They're so freaking good. And especially if you like dark thriller yeah. stuff. Oh, God, she's so good at it. Uh, and then the last one that I want to discuss... The only other one that I really didn't like this year was Up in Flames. You know, I've hit or miss with the Rosemary Beach series. We've talked this about one, it before. You know, I'm done with it. I've got it's. They're just kind of the well, same finished. stories over and over. Yeah, I finished. Yeah, see, so I'm that's, not. That's it. I have not finished, but I'm done. You know what I mean? I haven't read all of them, but I'm over reading them. It's well, just the same story over and so over. So here's again. the thing: is I originally I I was with it. I think I gave it three stars. Mm -hmm. I said so earlier in the video. But Nan, I wasn't a character I could re relate to anyways. I really disliked her. I thought it had a a good plot and it was written well, but I'm pissed off, honestly. Because the one character I was rooting for in the book got the shit end of the stick. So I'm just like, whatever. I'm done. I'm done. Thank God the series is over. And we both love an anti-hero, but there's just something, there's nothing redeemable about Nan. It really so. is And I, I, di I still feel like there's nothing redeemable about her, yeah. even after that. Mm -hmm. So, there you have it. That's what we've read this year so far in mm -hmm. quarantine and all this. Um, we will be going back to, like, our normal scheduled yes. videos. And obviously we didn't talk about every single book, especially not her, because she no. read way more than me. <laughs> I did. Um, but our Goodreads will be linked down below, so you can see everything that we've read so far and what we rated it, if we didn't go too far into detail in yeah. this book. And I'm I'm typically a review writer, so, you know, all my thoughts are there on my So Goodreads. that wraps up everything, pretty much, that we've read this year so far. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, our Goodreads will be linked down below if you want to hear more about what we've read she writes a lot of reviews i'm pretty bad at it but i try to go in and write them when i can um yeah so that wraps it up let us know down below any good books that you've read during quarantine we're always looking for new recommendations and we will see you guys next time bye, bye.